So if you had any issues or injuries anywhere around this region, back area, groin area, hamstrings, even the quads, this exercise is for you. Typically speaking, there's a lot of imbalances that happen, particularly when you start to move with intent, even on a slight position of a walking pattern. And as the intensities increase, or as the demand increase, we need to run, change direction, things like that. What we're gonna do is a particular plank, an isometric plank that we would utilize a bench and just mattress and cushioning. And what we're going to try to do is fire off our glute meat in respect to earning our oblique system. They're all gonna be aligned in a posturally sound position. I'm pulling my shoulder blades down and back, my pelvis comes underneath me. And I'm gonna earn this said stability and strength and contraction for a period of time, hence the isometric feature of this exercise. In order to get the position, one leg will be straight, the other leg is going to be bent underneath us as if we were doing a half plank on the ground. And unlike a Copenhagen plank, which we've seen in the past, where we leverage a lot of internal thigh strength and internal core strength, we're gonna try to leverage most of our isolative strength on the the oblique system and more importantly the glute meats. So when we're in that set position, push this leg to the ground, thinking the same emphasis here. So my hips are aligned with the set bench. My arms are underneath me as such. Try not to bring your head forward. The head will pin back. You're also not going to tilt it. Keep it in line. Tuck the pelvis and we're going to keep leveraging the tension on this lower glute bead while keeping everything aligned. A good option is to pull this arm here. You get symmetry of your retraction and one shoulder isn't lower than the other. Holding this for a period of time, 20 to 30 seconds. And obviously it's with sides. And with practice and consistency, you may notice your oblique system and your glutes giving you a little bit of support when we have to get rotational demands in walking. And more importantly, when I'm running and changing direction.